Hey guys, I'm back again. <laughs> but um, I just done a video of like basically how I keep my skin clear and like pimple free and stuff and the makeup that I can use for sensitive skin and dry skin. Well, like dry to sensitive skin, we'll just say that. <laughs> it works a lot better, it's a lot easier to say. So if any of you guys, um, <clears throat> I apologize. I'm just getting over strep throat right now, so that's why it's all like funky chunk up in my throat. But um, yeah, that was my latest video. And anybody who knows me, um, <laughs> hair to me is not a big deal. Like I've had my hair like down past my ass, and I've had it like chopped right off, and like mullet styled, and like a bunch of fucking layers one time. And I just like went into my hairdresser one day, and um, I was going, I was in the process of going red to blonde. And anybody who knows the struggle of going from red to blonde, it is real. Like, on a scale from one to even, I can't even. Like, I'm, I'm, I am unable to even. Because it took, like, seven months for me to get from red, like, constant red box dye, to, like, bleach, bleach, Barbie doll blonde. And, um, worst mistake of my life. I, I dread so much for cutting off my hair. But, um... She just dyed it, like, really bright blonde. She had, like, fucking, like, pink and blue. And, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Pink and blue and purple going in through. And it was just, like, I came home and my mom was like, what the fuck did you do to your head? It's a good summer. But, um, <clears throat> people are like, oh, my God, you cut your hair and, like, you dye it so much. How is it not, like, falling out? I kind of wonder that, too, because I've dyed it absolutely every color. Like, red, blue, pink, purple. Uh, I've had highlights, peekaboos, fucking undershaves I've had. Uh, like, one time the whole top of my head was just, like, blonde and the underneath of it was just, like, like, purple and pink and blue and brown and black and it was just, it was a mess. I was a hot mess in middle school. But, um, the only thing I can really say is what's kept my hair healthy for so long is, um, I get a bath and like a shower like to wash my body and stuff and like shave every day but um I don't wash my hair every day I'll wash my hair like every second day and my hair does not get oily at all or greasy so I can even go a third day without washing my hair but I don't a lot because that's really disgusting to me but um don't wash a lot and the shampoos that I've used recently is Pantene with argan oil and I find that works really well but shampoos that I've used in the past that was actually really good was uh, mane and tail and it is horse shampoo it is in the pet section at walmart i'm not shitting you it's two gigantic bottles it's a bottle of shampoo and a bottle of conditioner and they're like ten dollars each and it will literally last you like six months because it did it for me like i even had people at school calling me stallion it was that bad but that's a whole different that's a whole other different story that's embarrassing but um uh i get a trim like every probably four to six months I need one really desperately right now, actually. I've been just too lazy to go get one. And, um... Come here. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Sorry, I'm just over here. So we're to you guys. She's pissed off at me now. But, um... I use, like, an egg... Uh, I use this, like, probably twice a month. You should probably only do it once a month, but I do it twice because, fuck it, it's hair. But, um, I use one egg. And half a cup of coconut oil and a quarter cup of like vegetable oil or canola oil and um, I mix that all together in a bowl and I put um, like if you have a tea bag like a green tea tea bag open that up and put that in there too and uh, I'll put that in my hair it's disgusting I know but it, it it works wonders like it does the exact same thing as the treatment at a hair salon does and it will cost you nothing because it's just things in your house. And a tra hair treatment at a salon is probably like $50, $60. I'm not a hair, I'm not a hair salon, so I don't, I don't fucking know how much it costs. But, um, uh, I use that like once a month. And I just like leave it, I'll like massage it through my hair and stuff. And like put a pa like a plastic bag or like a shower cap over your head. And leave that on for like half an hour, 45 minutes. And then rinse it out. And when you rinse it out, um, use only like, like a loony sized bit of shampoo and then just like whack um the hair conditioner to like the ends of your hair and leave the conditioner in for like another like 12 to 15 minutes and then rinse there and you're gonna be like holy fuck my hair feels awesome 
Um, another thing I do is like I wear my hair up a lot because where it's like short, it's like to my shoulders. I'm gonna straighten it's like down here, so it's kind of like an in between thing. It's really annoying where it's growing. Um, I use uh, Aveeno Active Naturals Pure Renewal Dry Shampoo. And it comes in a little bottle like this. And I got this at Walmart, I'm pretty sure, or like a local local drugstore. And um, you just like hold it like about this length away and you just like spray it and like flip your head upside down and like spray that too. And then leave it for like two to three minutes and then brush it out. And it literally looks like you just washed your hair. Not gonna lie. So that's really the only thing I can think of. Oh, dry conditioner too. Dry conditioner works wonders, but do not spray it on your roots because you just then you'll just defeat the purpose of the dry shampoo. Just like spray it like probably like from here, this part of your hair down. So like probably three inches from your roots, I would spray it. <coughs> and um all I can say is another thing is don't go from like drastic hair colors, like don't go from like black to blonde because that is fucking impossible i've tried it i've dyed my hair myself and it just it takes forever and what's going to happen is you're going to end up looking like a pumpkin because it's happened to me so just like trim your hair um the egg and oil treatment dry shampoo and dry conditioner and don't wash your hair so much is like my five tips to good hair so i hope i hope that helped you guys because it helps me my hair is short right now but you know growing it was like up to here last summer when i first started dating my boyfriend so yeah it works and i definitely definitely remit recommend <laughs> the mane and tail shampoo at walmart like it's ten dollars a bottle you're gonna spend twenty dollars on shampoo and hair conditioner but believe me it works wonders like my hair was here in july month and now like when i straighten it it's down here so it obviously it works and another thing I would not recommend is fast shampoo. That is the biggest hunk of bullshit I've ever used in my life. I have hair on my nose, I'm sorry. Because that made my hair so dry and so brittle that like my ends, like when I straightened my hair, my ends used to literally break off and be on my straightener. So do not use fast shampoo at all. I It could work for some people. It does not work for me. I personally, I don't like it. I don't really like salon shampoos. It's way overpriced and you can just get just as good stuff at Walmart. And another thing um, I wouldn't do is like curling and straightening your hair constantly is obviously not going to make your hair grow. It's going to be hard on your hair from using like a 400 or even a 200 degree hair straightener on your hair every single day. It's damaging your hair like crazy. So uh, yeah, that's, that's my hair tips for you guys. So you should like, like, and just and uh, subscribe to my channel and um, you can hit me up on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram not really on Twitter that much I'm on Instagram all the time and Tumblr if you have me on Tumblr we're going to be BFFs forever so yeah okay bye guys love you say bye Ruby <laughs> she hates me <laughs>